Imagine if I told you the story of a European champion who had the biggest following in their country and now face the future with a different club name, a different club badge, and possibly no history. It scarcely sounds believable, but that's the situation here in Romania facing Stau of Bucharest. Now, as we're speaking, we don't have a football club. Stau is Stau, and it will always be like this. It's humiliating. They want to scream Stau of Bucharest. Yeah. We are Stau of Bucharest. Nobody thought this would get so far. Stau were one of the most successful teams to emerge from behind the Iron Curtain with the 1986 European Cup final win over Barcelona, their greatest achievement. But a legal battle over the club's naming rights now threatens to eradicate their entire existence. So to start with, I want to speak to a guy who's written a book about the club's history. Stau, it was the team of the army. The nickname of Stawa was the soldiers, the military. In 1919, the army said, okay, we don't have money to pay the players from Stawa Bucharest. In 1999, appeared Becali. They said, okay, I have money. I'm not interested in football, but I have money. Without no lawyer, no nothing, no papers. Okay, starting from this moment, I'm Stawa Bucharest. 10 years, nothing. Very good, I give money, you give me results. When Bekali enter in the, in the prison, in jail, the things uh, changes. Catalan goes on to tell me that since Bekali went to jail for unrelated offences, the other non-privatised, less wealthy sports of Stavo Bucharest saw an opportunity to make some money. Mr. Bekali, <clears throat> do you have any documentation? No. Okay, you want to appear with Stavo Bucharest? Give us some money. And appear this separation, the great schisma. So, in this moment, we have a club with records, logo, everything, Trophies. but no money. And Bekali with money, but without logo, uh, records, Palmares, stadium, etc. Who come here oh. in the middle? The supporters and the team. Yeah, after speaking with Katalin, as much as he gave us so much insight, I think I've got more questions than answers. So I've brought out over Emi. Emi uh, was actually at one of the games where the Star Booker basically couldn't actually have any identity at all. Well, what actually happened to that they, game? Basically, they eliminated all identity signs on their kits, on their uh, substitute benches, inside the stadium. There wasn't any sign of the club uh, people used to know as Star. And the club's name was also erased from the scoreboard. What did it say? It just said host. The Ultras fans from one stand weren't in the stadium. It was a very awkward situation. We never witnessed uh, something like that before. Star yeah. Bucharest SA is the new name. That's the new name, the name of the company and its name officially used by, uh, by the football club now. That's why the fans are so upset, because this is not their club. After meeting with Emmy, he took me to see one of Gigi Bacali's properties. Gigi ran the club in his own lavish way from this palace. But I need to get a better understanding of Stau's place in Romanian society before all this happened. So Emmy is taking me to meet former Stauer and Romania national team manager, 93-year-old Angelo Nicolescu. Tell me, how much do Stau Bucharest mean to Romanian football? Care a fost numărul unu în România. A fost o echipă de elită și continuă să se mențină și la ora actuală cu mari eforturi. The Army's contribution to this club is really quite significant, isn't it? Da, foarte important. Yes, și nu numai a armatei, a întregii țări, pentru că și civilii au îmbrățișat această echipă și au susținut-o și o susțin în continuare. We're in the darker days now, but if we go back to 1986, when Stau won the European Championship. What was that like? A fost o mândrie, nu numai pentru iubitorii fotbalului din România, dar a fost pentru întreaga țară, așa, din acest punct de vedere. If this new club is formed the way it, it looks like it's going, is that memory wiped? E un eveniment care nu o să dispară. Are putere de existență. Totală, peste tot. How important is it that this situation gets resolved? Este foarte important și va trebui 
să găsească rezolvarea, pentru că altfel se va ajunge la intervenții populare. That was a really special Angelo's words and his apartment that is a shrine to football I think is a really good indication of just how important this game is to the city and especially a club like Sal. I've been invited to a training session and straight away it's blatantly obvious that this is a club with a bit of an identity crisis. Get up. sitting down with their striker Raul to see if the players are affected by these off-field issues. For the players, it doesn't matter so, so much. We, we were focused on, on trainings. Will we see a full stadium tomorrow? Normally they should, they should be here, support us. This is Stella Bucharest. Yeah. This is the club that they love and support for, for many years. I couldn't help but notice that your logo. Yes, so, we have uh, some problems with that. Our fans they are a bit upset. Is it a strange feeling playing in a, a kit with a logo covered up? It's strange, it's an odd feeling, it's not nice, but um, what can we do? In a perfect world, would you like to have your old badge back? In a normal world, we should have our brand and, and logo and everything, name and everything. But it's not a normal world in Romanian football. It's not a normal world, yes, it's a true, true fact. So we've just finished our training with the players and we've managed to contact some of the uh, ultras of the active uh, north end of Stawa Bucharest. They're called Pulusa Nord and they've invited us out to the outer suburbs of Bucharest to hear their side of this whole situation. Momentan este o situație foarte complicată pe care nici noi nu înțelegem. Numai noi suport este cei care suferim din acest scandal. Do the military have a role in this whole crisis? The army won the badge. That's clear, but what happened with our colors, what happened with the names, the Obukurești, what happens with the formers? We don't know. De aceea și noi nu am vrut să ne implicăm, am vrut să fim echidistanți față de ambele părți ca să înțelegem fenomenul și ce se întâmplă. It's important to know that we love the army, we love the club. Yeah. It's not a problem. We lost jobs for Steaua, we lost girlfriends, we lost time. Will you go to the game? No. No, momentarily, momentarily no. no. Until we understand what happens, no. We yeah. go yes. rugby, we go polo, we go to the other handball, sports. Yeah. all sports, all Steaua, Bucharest, all. And we want, momentan, fără să trecem la următoarea etapă, să punem o ușoară presiune pe conducerea clubului și pentru că ei considerăm că trebuie să ducă să forțeze un pic să afle situația exactă, să trateze, să se încheie situația asta în care suntem acum. Deci acest nume trebuie respectat și ajutat de mai departe, nu distrus. With the news that Pulisic and Nord are going to attend tomorrow's derby against Rapid, I've managed to track down a contact for the other active fan group Pulisic Sud to try and get their take on it all. And it just so happens that they're going to support Stowa's basketball team tonight, a team which is still allowed to use the illustrious Stowa logo and name. Okay, so for the first time on Cover 90, where minutes before tip-off, not kick-off, the atmosphere aesthetically and vocally, it's almost the same. The terrace is full, perhaps that's coming out to you, or perhaps it's because these guys, these obsessives of Star Wars Bucharest, don't have a football club anymore, and the basketball team still has the identity, still has the documentation, and it's still associated with the army, the real Star Wars Bucharest. It's incredible that you guys can't do this in the football terrace at the moment. Also for rugby, for uh, handball, for uh, polo. Every time, every game. Your passion is incredible, man. We'll speak after the game. We'll speak after the game. I 
Orlando, thank you for having me, man. How much does Stoa mean to you? It means everything. And now it's all gone. We feel like uh, some big picture of our life is missing. The basketball team that we saw tonight play with this amazing support you gave them, yes. are they the same as that? No, no. They belong to the real club. But that's heartbreaking because football was the start of Star Wars. Yes, of course. It was at the every, core. Every one of us came to the stadium to, to see football. And that's just gone. Yeah, Cut. that's just gone. Because we, we are not we are not going anymore to, to the football. I mean, is there any hope? Stella Football Club is something else now. I uh, have no relation with the other. It's not the club that you grew up supporting. Sorry to hear that. I hope things work out in the future, man. Yeah. Best of luck. Thank you so much for your words. Thank you very much. Okay, so it's match day. In fact, it's actually derby day. We've got on-pitch access, but this is not the kind of derby that I'm really used to. Everything's kind of panning out like we were told. The away fans, they've turned up in numbers and they're making some serious noise. But the home fans, Stawa, their support, whilst there's a couple of thousand, really isn't doing much. You can feel there's a strange atmosphere. They've got banners against the new club logo and they're not chanting. So I think what's best is to speak to them and work out if they're against all of this, why are they still rocked up? I'm here for Stella. I'm a Stella supporter for 25 years. But to many, this isn't the real Stella. The situation is uh, very divided. First of all, we have the hardcore fans, which are very related to history, uh, to the badge. On uh, the other hand, we have supporters, which you see right now on the stadiums. Uh, they are very connected to results and game, and they spend time uh, to the stadium and watching football. is the same football players? Yeah. Nothing changed. You know uh, Bekali, yes, yeah. the Stawa owner, he should have thought that this judgment day will going to come, yes. yeah. One of the substitute players in the strangest thing I think I've ever seen in a live football match has ran towards his ultras and just started screaming at them. That was surreal. In coming out here to Romania to investigate this whole saga, one thing becomes really apparent. Whilst bakali has got the money and the military have the naming rights, it's the supporters that have the best intentions at heart, the love for this club. And the organisations and characters fighting over money and ego need to realise that, like we always say on Kopanani, football without fans is nothing. And that's definitely the case here at Stawa. And for the good of Romanian and world football, a resolution needs to be found so that that atmosphere we saw the Stour supporters produce on the basketball bleachers comes back to its rightful place, the football terraces.